All right, you guys, we're here, we are here today with Yakka Mowers, our new mower brand, and we're just gonna have a walk around, and he's gonna tell us some uh, information about them. Absolutely, thank you very much. So yes, uh, we are Yakta. Uh, first question most people have on their minds is, what does Yakta actually stand for? So Yakta comes from two Australian names, Yakka, which means hard work, and Ta, that means thank you. So before we even go and get into the units, what people have the biggest question about our brand right now is that you offer five years or 2,000 hours. Yeah, absolutely we do. And then they say, and what don't you cover in that? Well, the only three things that we don't cover, tires, batteries, and blades. So that means that for five years, 2,000 hours, we are warranting Hydro Gear, Kawasaki, Briggs & Stratton longer than they manage, than, than, than warranty their own. And why do we do that? So we do that to actually hold ourselves accountable. We believe in providing a product that is not just something that makes tall grass short. We actually are trying to go and provide value to the end user. So every, everybody out there goes and says that we're actually built for the consumer. We're, we're here for you and this is the thing that's gonna go and change your life, yeah. change your business. Um, the reality is, is that that might be true that they're built for the consumer, but we're built by the consumer. And the biggest difference is spending the time to actually listen. To go out there with their hand up and not their hand out. So everywhere we go, we have our hand out. Us here at, at, at Equip Expo or Big Launch, yeah, we're, we're pitching our equipment, we're talking about it, everybody's interested, but we're spending the most time is asking more questions so we can already improve for our next models. And everybody's already interested in these models. Yes. That's really what we're all about. So going through the equipment really quickly is, one thing I also want to manifest is that these might be our, this mower right here, our uh, YXR310. It might be our quote unquote residential unit but it is our, it's everything is built commercial or heavier duty than a lot of commercial. And as you go up, you'll, you'll clearly see that. So this is our YXR910. Uh, so this one comes with our Cowie and our Briggs motors, uh, 23 and 25 horsepower. Um, great piece of equipment. Everything has the seven gauge steel uh, built again, very heavy duty. You can still pop curves with this all day. But as we go up in the lineup, these gentlemen are right now looking at our YXR710. And when I go over there on the other side of our booth, I'll show you really quickly what our biggest point of difference is. But the frame actually splits. So it becomes a completely different unit altogether. Interesting. So this comes with, again, uh, the, the Cowie engine, the Evo 35.5, uh, sorry, the 30.5 horsepower, 13 gallon tank. Uh, and deck sizes are 54, 61, and 72 inch decks. This is the stand on version of this unit. Um, it has all the same features, minus the fact that it is, uh, you can't split the frame if we do deck mounted motors. And the reason why we do that, again, for the consumer, we don't want the belts to be slipping off. So this is the most efficient way to go and keep everybody up and running. So when we come around the corner here, actually, just a quick pause, is that all of our units have a fast charging USB and USB-C charger. So it's not just a trickle charge, you get the fast charging on it. Uh, touch displays, as you will see here. So everything is just easy to touch. Um, manages uh, your fuel, your RPMs, your hours, you name it. So moving over here, so this is where things really go and get interesting. So I spoke about our YXR710 model. This is our quote unquote prosumer model, but this is a commercial unit through and through. Uh, this is built heavier duty than most other commercial units out there. As you can see, again, that's with the split frame. Why is that important? So when you come over here, basically you can change, so what you're looking at, this is our commercial unit, this is what our YXR910 is, but the 710 does the same thing, is that it actually turns that mower into a snowboard. So we don't say that this is now a zero-turn mower that has a snowblower attachment. This is now a snowblower. Okay. It then can also be an aerator, a wheelbarrow, a grader, a blower, you name it. That's what it becomes. Now, why is that important? So when you actually go and purchase any products like this and all the cutters, you guys know what this is all about, 
is that all the cost comes from the seat backwards. So when you have to go and get an aerator or a mower with a different size deck or a snowblower, the money comes from here out. So now what you're able to go and do, if you're a cutter, it's the summer, you're able to go and have one unit with multiple size decks depending on the job at hand. Okay. So all you do is pull up that lever, back off, pull back on, push the lever down, connect the belt, off you go, now it's a completely different unit. If you're a uh, year-round guy, you're in more of the northern climates, you need a snowblower, exact same thing. It's no longer a zero-turn mower, it is now a snowblower. Exactly. Now you also get the aerator and all that stuff. So what ends up happening is you're spending only 25, 15, 10% as much on those other units that you need to go and run your business just by buying one yacht to you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And question about the, um, the attachments. Is everything connected like the implement? Is it all one thing? Or do you have to buy an implement hitch and then add the uh, snowboard and everything on top of that? Yeah, so the only thing that you will end up needing is there is what we call an anti-wheelie bar. Uh, so it's just uh, something you go and put in the back so you don't pop backwards. Okay. The, uh, the goal is to have this be able to go and change over anywhere between five and seven minutes. So everything is toolless too. Okay. So even to go and take off your spindle covers, as you'll see, is toolless down here. Okay. Um, and then when you take that off, it's just one lever, you pull it back, the belt just slides off. You're ready to back up and go and plug into your next unit. Nice. So you can actually, uh, we have a couple of booths here. At our larger booth, there's, you can see the actual split frame uh, and what it actually goes and looks like. And we're also outside to go and demo. That's good. Yeah. Awesome, thank you so much for the walkthrough. I appreciate it, thank hey. you.